the interesting thing, I think, with this is that because you can't hike out in any way, it really demands more in steering and sail trim than it would in a normal boat in a lot of ways. Exactly. Uh, the steering system is so fine on them that much of, of good technical sailing of the 2.4 meter comes in, in sail trim and balance. And by doing that, the sailors really need to have a good sense or learn a good sense of balance and, and what their sail shape is actually doing for them and, and how the sail trim really works in the, into their advantage. You can see the difference right here in the angle that people are sailing sure. in the way they're set up. It, it, it sounds like this would be a great trainer for anybody. Um, it would be. And they're really not that difficult to jump in and start learning how to sail. To be at the top end of an international fleet is obviously a bit of a challenge. Oh, sure. It seems like everyone comes out a winner at America's Regatta. The camaraderie and the enjoyment is easy to see. It's brought on by the experience and freedom of being a sailor. People seem to be so attracted to what what is projected by the disabled people. Uh, the, 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 the vision of uh, wheelchairs left on a dock, I think, affects everybody the same way. Comments that I've gotten from anybody that's participated in this has, has all been life-affirming. It makes you realize how lucky you are and it makes you realize that uh, there's, there's always something to look forward to. Australian Nava George is a 21-year-old ventilated quad. That means she has no movement from the neck down. What she lacks in movement, she makes up for in courage. Nava, how did you how did you start sailing? Um, I met some friends at Naruma, which is a place in Australia. Uh huh. And I was on holidays, and um, their daughter sails um, with her toes, and um, her dad said that I could do it, so they helped me out and made me begin to sail. And how do you like sailing? Oh, I love it. It's you great. do? Yeah. What do you like about it so much? I like the freedom, the wind in my hair, when the water splashes in my face, everything. Now, do you like just sailing or do you like racing more, most? I like sailing, but I also like racing because um, I have a competitive streak in me. And I like to beat people. I, I, I know how that is. Yes. As long as I have fun, that's it. That's the whole point. Sail straight now. Good. Keep up. Keep up. Follow us up here. That's it, that's it. Herb Meyer of California is a seasoned sailboat racer and the incoming chairman of U.S. Sailing's Committee on Sailors with Special Needs. You, uh, unlike some of the people here, you were a sailor, uh, uh, you've been a sailor all your life. I've been a sailor and I've done quite a bit of racing and I sailed in San Francisco Bay and 
in July of 93, I was sailing on a 50-foot sailboat, a Rhodes 50, and uh, handling the Genoa sheets. And uh, we think maybe the winch failed or something happened, but I got yanked forward and uh, lost my ability to break the fall, and I fell forward and hit, hit my head and snapped my neck back and uh, ended up in the cockpit floor quadriplegic. Oh, my goodness. So you've had an extensive rehab since then, I assume? Yeah, I was in rehab for about a year and a half in, in terms of intensive rehab and uh, had some surgery about a year after my accident, which uh, took the pressure, a little bit of pressure off my uh, spinal cord, which then enabled me to uh, start moving because I was paralyzed basically from my shoulders down. Right. Uh, we see here that there's a, a wide variety of disabilities that, uh, that people are still sailing with. Um, they, there's all kinds of um, uh, uh, contraptions that can be adapted to these boats to enable people to sail. I don't have the strength in my hands or the control of my hands that much. Of course, my, my legs are, are kind of, I, I still have some control, but I can't really move them too well. So what I need is I need uh, a servo electric system or some type of system where I can use a toggle switch or some type of switch where I can move the switch and that way it's tied into a uh, a winch, uh, electric winch, which then lets lets the main in and out. Uh, I am able to handle the joystick on these uh, access things. It, it's, it's a toggle switch, it's a four-way toggle switch, and it's set up so uh, in and out, up and down is in and out with the sails. Right. And it's also tied in for other people that go left and right and they can steer the rudder. Okay. So people that are really severely disabled can just use their chin or, or, or a sip and puff, whereas I, I'm, I can handle the... Uh, What's a sip and puff? Uh, a, a sip and puff is a, uh, a mechanism where a severely disabled person, C1, C2, who can basically just move their head, they can actually blow into a tube or sip, and they, and they, they have the same control. So they, they can they can have a, a one one mechanism where in and out of the sails with a sip and puff, and left and right with another uh, setting on there. Uh, and, and so it's uh, and that, that's you know that's the extreme where where uh, people. That, that can sail with the, with the maximum disability. Uh, a gal named Nava is here from Australia. She has the same type of uh, disability as Christopher Reeve. Uh, right. And uh, she might challenge him to a race, uh, which would be kind of fun, because he could get on these boats and he could just move his chin and he could uh, sail the boat. Sailing uh, is very therapeutic. It's, it gives you the freedom that you can go into a boat and go for an afternoon cruise on the bay, the lake, the ocean, uh, and just you know bring a little lunch and a sand, you know uh, and a drink, or you can go out and compete, and you can compete against able-bodied individuals that are in the same boat. Do you think sailing's been good for your kids? Oh yes, definitely. It has given them the ability to do things by themselves. Well, they are in the water, they are by themselves. So it has given them an independence and a freedom to do whatever they want in there. Because you're free, you don't have to go with many people on the boat. That's what I thought. You can do what you want, right? Yep. Yeah. The freedom. Okay. The freedom and the, uh, the challenge I have of, of, of steering and maneuvering that boat in a way where I really didn't encounter and experience it. It's really enjoyable. The freedom is mostly the wonderful thing that I like. I like, I like this, the feeling of the wind and breeze and the solitude of out being on the water. I like the freedom, the wind in my hair, when the water splashes in my face, everything. Being on the dock and being able to sail away and leave my chair is a pretty cool thing.